Yar har me hearties, we find be land. Unfortunately, it only be the Mushroom Isles. I don't know if that's unfortunate or not, because no mobs be spawning here. And it's also like the first time that I've managed to find a Mushroom Isles on my own, which is just awesome. Eh. Get out, don't break my boat, don't break my boat. Because I only brought, like, two. There we go. I decided after I left the village that it might be a smart idea to go back and make a second boat because, well, sometimes you run into things or things run into you or, you know, squids and krakens and things will break it. So, yeah, Mushroom Isles. That's pretty awesome. Definitely always like this thing. It looks really cool, number one. Number two... Uh, this stuff allows mushrooms to grow to in, in sunlight. This stuff allows mushrooms to grow in sunlight. Like they won't break at, a, at the light levels. Plus, mushrooms. Which, if you milk them, you get mushroom stew. So, free mushroom stew. Definitely writing down the coordinates to this place. And probably going to telepad it up. Which means going to have to make... More telepads, when and if we ever find actual land with, you know, uh, real trees. Because the downside to the mushroom trees is when you break them, they break into mushrooms. Like, those things. These mushrooms break into those. The red ones break into the red ones, which of course means more mushrooms too. Wow, this place is gigantic! Ooh, that's weird. How'd that happen? <gasps> Ooh, what is that? Hurt! Oh! Hey, cool. Safe. I really thought I was gonna bite it on that. Alright, let's harvest this right here. Order infused stone. I think we already have some order, don't we? Ordoros or whatever it is. Is that a cave hidden behind the mycelium? The downside is, in order to harvest mycelium, you need um, a silk touch item, like silk touch shovels. Otherwise, it just breaks into regular dirt. And then it is gone forever. I will take that, thank you very much. There is some crafting recipe, I don't remember what it is, but it requires the use of all, and there goes my pick. That was my one and only pick I left on for, left with on this journey, and sadly it is broken. All right, I'm gonna put you right there. Did I bring any torches or anything? No, because this was not going to be an exploration. This was merely going to be a find a new home, which always ends up becoming exploration. Uh, I think I just, I think I just murdered myself. Nope. Okay, good. Woo! I've got two cobblestone. Clunk. Get me out of here. I, I need to get out before I get just wrecked. There we go. Sand, no clay. I need clay for something, but I forget what. Alright, well, I'm going to continue running across this place. I'm going to throw down my boat. And we'll continue looking for a new land. Just as soon as I telepad this place. Because I've got the one telepad left. And I, it, sh it shall be called Mushroom Island. Or Mushroom Island, I guess. The Mushroom Isles. Which is always... It's, it's one of my more favorite biomes, actually. If not my favorite. Just because... I think I remember reading this. It, there is one. It spawns one in every world. So it's like a rare thing, which is why I've, this is like the first time I found it, and I found it on my first modded survival game. Yay! Double awesome. And if you'll notice, um, the Village of Beginnings, I have it marked down here as 327, uh, negative, negative 327, negative 87, 
and we are at like negative 5,000 on the Z. I mean, I tried to stay more or less in the same area with the X, but the Z coordinates I w was what I was traveling along, and apparently it just went crazy. So, and I've this is the first land I found. I've been traveling for nearly 15 minutes on my own off stream. Aren't you glad you weren't watching that of me just sailing through the ocean? Been traveling on my own for about 15 minutes in the ocean. Came across rain. Really, rain? Goodbye, frames. But. It's a part of Minecraft, so I'm going to let it go. But yay, mushrooms! And this is a very large mushroom island. Uh, one of the games that I was playing on with a server before, uh, a realm server that we were doing with a couple friends of mine, uh, he we found it, but they used like, the MC Edit program in order to look at the map and all of that. And they went and found the stuff like that. And then me and another buddy of mine went on an adventure to actually legitimately discover it, mark it on the map, and set up a nether portal system in order to get there since we weren't using any mods or anything. Just your basic Minecraft. Yay! Okay, and yeah, we are lagging pretty hard, so I'm going to go ahead and call this mini-update here as we continue the search in the Pirate's Journal Yarg. I don't know. I, after a while, you go a little stir-crazy from just staring at the ocean for so long, and you're in a little dinghy, so what are you going to do? Wow, not this is... This is huge! Oh! Another awesome thing about the Mushroom Isles, mobs do not spawn here. This is like the ultimate safe zone. However, if you take the mycelium and transport it somewhere else and let it grow around, that does not make it a mob-free zone. You catch that? It does not make it mob-free. But this does carry all the way through to the bottom, so if you like, go underground... Here around the Mushroom Isles, the mobs still won't spawn here. This entire chunk is mo or this entire area where it's Mushroom Isle biome is preserved for a mob-free area. That means all the way up and all the way down. So there's a very high possibility I might make my house out here as soon as I manage to find, oh, I don't know, materials to build. Ow. Oh, hunger. I was like, why am I dying? Yeah, that hunger thing. Why? Ow! Why are we jumping? I mean, seriously, that that that's like jumpy bug, jumpy fries. There we go. Fell in a hole. Oh! As soon as I make it to the other side of Mushroom Isles, I will go ahead and get back in my boat and say, give a mighty yar hard to the search again. Is that lava? Do we have lava spawn in here? Yep. Well, if I fall on that, that'll kill me for sure. Okay, where's a good... I'm gonna put my telepad somewhere around the top, and I don't have to worry about creepers blowing it up. Yay, hey! Teleportation pad. There we go. Also, the first time I've had to eat on this journey, so yay. Yay for that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to that little alcovish thing real quick and plunk down my telepad to the Mushroom Isle. After we plunk down the telepad, I am going to say a mighty yar -har! Thanks for joining me, mateys! And continue on my pirate journey. Ooh. Can I plunk it down in here? I'm going to plunk it down in here. Because I don't have to worry about mobs. Clunk it right there. Mushroom Island Shores. 
Yay! Press enter to confirm. And even better, with this here, if I wanted to, bing! Come on! Take me home! Or take me to the village! There we go. I click on village, and poof! I'm back here, so now I can gather food if I need it. But I don't, so I'm going to continue on on my journey. Poof! To the Mushroom Islands. Ow, 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 oh god, no, no! Okay. Might be a good idea to move this. Might be a real good idea to move that. That was not what I wanted at all. At all. And see, that's why I was saying I kind of don't want to put it in a confined area, which apparently that was too confined. Alright, we will try this nice, open, little, shady alcove here. I will put it right here. Mushroom, mushroom, island. Enter. Which if I look at this, can I look at the... How to stand, wait three to five seconds. For security reasons, you cannot remove pads that have been registered to friends. No, 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 right clicking again. Okay, so. There we go. I will continue sailing due north. I believe it's that way right now. I keep pointing off screen. Everything is off screen. All right, we will teleport back to Mushroom Island. Oh, thank goodness, that's much safer. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Back to the boat, me hearties. Yar har. This may be a good place for me to figure out where I'm going to mine. Because I've seen a couple of good nodes. Uh, there's a fire. There was an earth one back there. And I would har harvest them out. The only problem is no pickaxe. Alright. So we continue on on our journey. That's south. I want to go north. North. There's north. Really? North is... Oh, lord. How did I do that? Anyway, I will figure out which way I'm supposed to be going. I had been traveling north in a general that away direction. So I will continue that and find my way back to the vi or probably hopefully not back to the village. That would be upsetting. I will find my way off this island. And back to figuring out where I can survive in a new home. Alrighty. Thanks for joining me once again on Minecraft Modded Survival Pirates Log. See ya.